behind you. You want to be in front of you. Hi there, everybody. This is Teresa Vigorino. I've got Victor in the background here. I got a girlfriend, Lauren DeSoda, up front. We got little Melody the dog right here. And today we're hiking back to the car after a little bit of rock climbing. And we're here for fabulous Faithful Fridays. How to stop some emotional pain. Because so many of you that have reached out to me are going through a relationship breakup or and or you have something traumatic going on hi Victoria and it's just a painful experience in life and sorry for the bobbing we really are hiking I just want you to look behind me at Lake Tahoe we're up in the mountains and uh, it's just one of the things I want to reiterate that I talked about on Wednesday is if you are having a hard time in life make a point to get out in nature focus on something besides yourself. It's really hard when you're going through some emotional pain to fo not focus on it, but what we focus on expands in our life. And it's really hard to stop that pattern and that habit of focusing on this emotional trauma or the emotional pain. So I want you to take this little bit of advice. Is there someone else in your life and you can completely become present? Hi, Terry Britt, and you can focus on them. Because when you're focusing and giving to others, you can't help but to feel better about life itself. Particularly when you're going through trauma, it's really hard to do that. But it's so necessary to elevate your vibration and your energy so that you can attract more good, juicy things to your life. And one way that always works for me is by getting out in nature. And there's something about being amongst the trees and the smell of the breeze and just hiking and moving your body that really does alleviate some of the emotional woundedness that you're going through. So for me, I want to encourage everybody to have faith that when you get out into God's country and into nature, and I don't care if it's a city park or your backyard or a neighbor's house or a hike in the woods or by the ocean or by a lake, by a creek, just go, just commit to focusing on this beautiful world that we live in. And when you can do that and you listen and you bring all your senses present in that moment, smelling the air, feeling the ground beneath your feet, feeling the sun on your face, listening to the birds and the wind through the trees. When you do that, you cannot help but to bring about more peace in your heart. Becoming present in the moment and do that in nature. Focus on something else, focus on other people. So those are three really good tidbits to help you. And I hope and I wish everybody a really wonderful Labor Day weekend. We just wrapped up, today is five years with this guy. This is our fifth year anniversary today. We're down to 30, 29 days for our wedding. And uh, we're just doing our favorite thing, which is being in nature. So I love you all. Thank you for being here. If you're having trouble with trauma, emotional woundedness, lack of faith, grief, sadness, reach out to me. I answer all the comments in my emails. I have a lot of free resources. And uh, I'll see you guys Monday for Miraculous Mondays and Mindsets. Thanks for being here, everybody. Bye.